Good day and God bless. Welcome to our time of devotion and prayer. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for the blessings that we get to be a part of together here. And as, Lord, we take this time for your word that we might be inspired by that word and encouraged by the shared prayer. Lord, we ask your blessing upon our families, upon our friends, whom we seek to serve and, and to bring strength of, of spirit, being, to bring strength of truth through your word into their lives. And Lord, when it's when it's hard to to share what we believe and it's hard to tell them what we understand when we're worried about the challenge that they might put before us about what we believe or the the way that they will disbelieve what we believe lord help us to have courage especially in those moments that in all things we may honor glorify and serve you and lord we pray for the well-being and the sustaining of of our family and our communities lord we ask for for blessings uh through difficult seasons we pray for those who are struggling to keep homes warm to keep roofs over head and lord we ask uh, for for guidance and wisdom and how we can take the resources that we have and use them to to benefit others and not just ourselves lord help us to be generous with our blessings as we seek to be a generous blessing in your name and lord we ask that you will watch over and care for uh, people uh, that are gathered in faith right now uh, in all corners of this globe that are that are praying for one another that are praying for the hardships that some churches are facing that are celebrating with other churches that are going through joyful and incredible times. Lord, let us be together in our fellowship at all times. Let us be aware of what is going on in the whole life of the church. And Lord, help us not to fall in these in the denominational divisions that 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 keep us from serving together. But Lord, let us use these differences among us to be gathered like different body parts into one body, to be the body of Christ in action in this world through your Holy Spirit, that we might, Lord, whatever our left hand or our right hand is doing, be working together, that we might see things rightly, that that we might be guided in every breath of life to serve and glorify and honor you. Lord, bless and direct your church, even us as a part of your church. This day in Christ we pray. And so we turn to Isaiah chapter 46, and today I'm going to be reading chapter 46 at verse 4. And even to your old age I am he, and even to whore heirs will I carry you. I have made and I will bear, even I will carry and will deliver you. Even to your old age. We are not left abandoned when we get to to be too old to do certain things, when we get to be uh, to a certain age where the labor force doesn't want us anymore, when we get to be to an age where it's really hard to find a job, even if we want to keep working. God is with us, and God is employing us, and God is calling us. And so often I hear from people uh, in the church, in the life of the church, saying, well, we're too old to have a, have a dinner. We're too old to do these things. Well, fine probably are too old to to, to serve a uh, hundred plates and to, to wash a thousand dishes in an evening. That might be a bit much to ask, but you're not too old to serve God. You're never too old, and God will carry you in that service. God wants you to be in that fellowship with him, and it's not an idle fellowship. Even those that I have gone to visit in, in convalescent situations or who are crippled because of injury or, or because of age— I task them, be in prayer for us who have to labor and work, be in, 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 keep us in thought in mind, let your experience, your understanding, your viewpoint be known and heard in the life of the church because your voice is always significant. Your part in, and your response to the spirit of God is, is a necessary part of the church. And there is no one person who isn't important and needed to be heard in the fellowship that we have. And we are promised, and this, these are the words of the prophet to God's people as they're facing the, the arduous task of, of reclaiming who they are as a people, that God has made them, God will bear them, will carry them, and deliver them. And that is all the more true for you in Christ, that as you are de determined, God is more determined. As you are giving uh, all of your will and strength, God has given everything for your sake, even to the, the utmost of his creation, even to his own very begotten son to, to die for you, to live for you, to live eternally for you in resurrection, and to call you to that life eternal to glorify God. And may God bless and keep you. Amen.